So welcome into uh, the portion of the video I did not anticipate making. Uh, I kind of discovered this on accident the other day and um, it's just an idea I had. And what I did was after I painted this whole thing, I got it set up. I said, you know, I wonder, a lot of people were mentioning in some other forums about actually having a background image behind the faded vinyl. And there's some, you know, some logic to that because you can't really tell how far away it is when you have that, that blurry vinyl. So I played around a little bit and you can see what I did here, hopefully on camera, uh, just some sort of like feathered brush painting with some black and some, some gray that I had. I have acrylic paint laying around. Admittedly, I've done a bunch of other projects with paint over the years. So I have all kinds of materials, some, some sponges, some brushes, all that kind of stuff. But I just went on the bottom cause I knew that I would either fabricate rock and put it here anyway, or it wouldn't ruin the entire background. So, um, I went the other day after I saw this and I'm like, that looks pretty cool. I wonder if I did it in layers, some places more sparse, some places more dense. If I could create this illusion, I guess, with a vanishing point that makes it appear like this thing really continues. And I know we're just talking about a shadow box here, but the idea with these things is to actually create the illusion that they continue on. And the more real you can make that look, the cooler it looks. Probably the more people will appreciate it too. So um, what I did is I went back to Home Depot the other day and got a darker blue. This color is a compass blue. They're both bare colors. This is, what is this? Something with ink. Um, indigo ink. It's a darker blue than the compass blue. So my logic was if I use a darker blue as opposed to black, it may be more subtle and then I could possibly build upon it. So for instance, you know, I can start by just sort of going around, you know, a certain area, very light, very dense in other places. Um, now, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but worst case scenario, it, those samples are like five bucks and I don't need a, a whole jar. I'll just go get another jar and paint back over it and we'll, we'll go back to scratch. So it's not um, that big of a deal, I guess. So I do wanna try it, because I think if it does, you know, come across the correct way, it'll look really cool. Um, so I'm gonna get some paint mixed up and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go slow I'm gonna you know try little things here and there put it back up see what it looks like So let me uh, do that and get rolling and I'll show you what it looks like whether good or bad So here's what I ended up settling on after many, many, many tweaks. Um, and the reason why I even did this and, and went so far into it is because I realized that the, the painting on the background actually does more for the 3D effect than does 
you know, fabricated rock. Uh, and I'm really, really liking this because it just, it creates this really sort of cool 3D perception that when you come around the tank at various angles, you can't really, uh, it's just really, really cool. But uh, I wanted to focus on that mid, I wanted that middle section open, but I still wanted to create some distance. So if you look, I still have very faint, which is what was a darker blue off in the background. So it at least creates the illusion that it continues on into the distance. And it, it looks better in person actually than it does um, on the phone. But uh, you can, you know, get a pretty good idea for uh, the effect of that. Now, what I'm gonna end up doing is fabricating less rock than I thought. Um, I was initially gonna do what I did here with the paint with fake rock, but I'm liking what I see there because it's way more, the illusion is much better. And then what I'm probably gonna do is fabricate some rock structures for the corners because I wanna cover those corners. And I probably will do like a bed along the bottom so that there's that and it'll kind of rise up into that. Uh, faded background and I might put you know a few select pieces or something jetting out From the side from each side of the overflow, but a little closer to the glass So I think in the end, um, you know, I wish I really wish I could get it. You know the accuracy of the light um, If I did my phone down, I mean that's a little better, but uh, Pretty cool and that's what I'm gonna settle on for now because I think that with the aquascaping that's in the tank Paired with the lighting of the tank, I mean, it'll be subtle enough where it will accomplish, you know, what what I was going for and what the intention is um, with these shadow boxes. So uh, that's it. That is the end of this artwork section. I'm going to work on uh, fabricating some some rock structures here soon after a nice break from this. So hope y'all enjoy. Stay tuned till next time.